Hello, Mr. Stone here, ready to show you how to design a hole-in-one mini golf hole uh, through reflections. So, as you can see here, I've got the hole, I've got the ball. Um, I'm going to pretty much see kind of how I would get it in there. I know that I want to bank off this wall and shoot for the hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this hole point H. And I know since I'm going to bank off this wall, I'm going to make a reflection over it. So my advice is, my strong advice is to start where you're going to end. You're going to be aiming for this hole. Start here, work backwards, reflect back, and then let that take you back to the ball. This is a simple one. This is just a one banker. Let's see how this guy is set up. So I've got a hole here is about about 10 and a quarter inches away. Uh, yeah, about 10 and a quarter inches away from the wall here. I'm keeping it perpendicular. And so the reflection here would be, this is H prime. So I'm reflecting over this wall, this W sub one, that just means wall one. It's just a way to name the wall here. Uh, I would be aiming for H prime if I'm putting which back a long, long time ago, I was actually fairly decent at. Gotta find a good miniature golf place in the city, but that's another story. So if I shot the ball uh, this way, it would go toward H prime, but it's gonna hit this wall. But when it hits the wall, it's actually going to reflect back to the hole. Because we, we're going to have congruent angles here and here. Because it comes in at the same angle that it's going out. And check this out. You've also got, if this is angle one, I'm just giving these names, you don't need to do these on your, uh, your miniature golf hole, but if this is angle one, this is angle two, uh, I can name this angle angle three, the one that would be formed by the continuation of the path here toward H prime and the wall, the line of reflection. I've got a vertical angle set between one and three. So vertical angles are congruent. So one is gonna be congruent to three, and one is also congruent to two, since you've got another reflection actually that would be going right through there, created by uh, the ball bouncing off the wall. And that's it. Set it so that you, you are aiming for your H prime, the most recent reflection that you made, and then you're done. But that's kind of boring, and I know you. You are not boring. Let's do something more interesting. I'm going to move you. All right. Are we all right? Ooh, I get a little bit of glare right there. God. Hang with me. Better? Can we still see? Okay, we have a different glare now. But, hopefully this should still be visible. Um, now I've got a ball that's down here. Here's my whole age. I'm gonna have to do a, a few different banks. Just focus on making your reflections off the walls that you're going to, to bounce off of, and then everything else will take care of itself, okay? So, let's say I wanna do something fancy. I kinda wanna go here. I, I know I wanna bank somewhere about here. I'm going to bounce over here, and I'm going to do one more over the top, okay, and then it will go into the hole. Working backwards, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect over, we'll call this vertical wall here, uh, or excuse me, the horizontal line here, we'll call that wall one, okay. I'm going to reflect over that, so I've got a distance of about three and a quarter inches. So I, I've got a reflection, so I go three and a quarter inches up. So this would be my first re reflection. This would be H prime. Now I'm done really using the hole directly. I'm going to use my point of reflection. I'm going to reflect this. My next bank, I'm done with this one, is going to be coming from here. So now this wall, that's my line of reflection. So I can extend this where this would be 
this is my line of reflection. I'm going to reflect over this because I'm, ba I'm banking, I'm bouncing off of this. So I go, I've got about uh, 11 3 quarters inches. So I'm going this way, I'm going to 11 3 quarters inches. And that puts H double prime right there. You can see that. Yes, okay. Wunderbar. Now, I bank off of this. Now I need to bank off of this wall, which means always take your most recent reflection to reflect off of again. So that means that this, let's call this side W sub 3, okay, wall 3. I'm going to reflect my most recent point over the wall that I'm bouncing off of. This guy, right here. So again, I can extend this to continue on. And let's see, from H double prime, I'm only working with my most recent reflection. I've got 27 inches here. Will I fit? Oh, oh, just, just, I'm trying marvelous. Okay, so I'm like right here, right on the edge. This would be my H triple prime. Can you see that? Oh, no, you can't. All right, let's angle that. Okay. See, your distance is so much because I'm no longer just reflecting over this wall. When I've got this H, prime, H double prime over here, I'm actually reflecting off of this wall because that's my bank. Always make the wall that you're bouncing off of your line of reflection. It's going to cause uh, these reflections to get very distant from each other quite quickly. Okay, so give enough room on your paper. I recommend to make, if you're using a regular sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, uh, about, uh, you know, maybe a third of the paper would be your whole, okay? So now I'm going to aim from the ball toward the H triple prime. You've got your reflections made. Everything else is going to take care of take care of itself naturally. So I would extend toward H triple prime a little bit more, a little bit more. There we are. All right. That's where it would be going, but it hits there, and then it's going to bounce. And where is it going to bounce to? Well. This is a reflection of H double prime, therefore, this is going to bounce toward the reflection, which is over here. So now I'm aiming toward H double prime, which I made earlier. Isn't this amazing? It like totally takes care of itself. I mean, I, I wish like having, having a dog would be something like this, you know, where you could just be like, Fido, go fix yourself dinner. Go take yourself for a walk. You know, the, the things that could be done so that you could take care of all the other things you have to do. But I suppose that's part of the fun of owning a dog. Anyway, so we're up to H double prime. We aim toward that, ah, it, you know, hits the wall there. It banks again. This time, though, it's going to go toward the reflection of this, which is right over here, which is H prime. Go over there, and it would continue on if it didn't hit that wall, but it hits the wall. But now the reflection of H prime is just H, so it will go straight for the hole. And that's it. All you have to do is figure out where you're going to be bouncing the ball. Once you've got that order figured out, you make your points of reflection first of the hole, and then you work with whatever your last reflection is. So once I'm done with making my reflection of the hole, I'm only dealing with H prime. Then I reflect to H double prime over here because I'm bouncing off of this wall. I'm only working with this guy now. And then I reflect off of H double prime off of this wall. And then that gives me my final H triple prime, which I can aim for. And then I'm just going, aiming for reflection, hits a bounce, and it's going to hit to the next reflection that you made. It works out wonderfully. This is so cool. And if you can use it on the mini golf course, then you can be a mini golf master. I hope this is good. Rewind it if you need to. And have a wonderful and productive day.
Deutschland. One more time. Have a great day.